welcome back to a just what nick handle it video and today we have my spider-man uh spider-man number one showcase and this is how to build everybody from the first spider-man movie from 2002 so let's get started first we have spider-man and to build him i use the torso head and hips from the original spider-man the arms and hands from spider-man homecoming with the legs from that as well and that's how i built a pretty good spider-man next we have peter parker and i use the torso arms hands and legs from the venice set from spider-man far from home and i use the backpack piece from the spy minifigure head from Marty McFly, and the hair from Agent Coulson. But if you wanted to make Peter before he got the spider bite, I'll show you that now. And that's Peter Parker before he got the um bite on his finger. And I just used the head from Egon Spangler. Next we have my last Peter Parker minifigure for this showcase. I promise, this is the last one. And this is him when he, like, after the spider bite and he wakes up and he has no shirt on and he gets, like, muscles. And the torso, arms, and hands I use from the Beach Batman minifigure. Just dark, dark, um, blue legs. The head from Marty McFly and the hair from Agent Coulson. And that's how you build him. Next we have the... Kid Spiner, or like, I forget his name, but this is when he fights, um, Macho Man, Randy Savage. But the legs I use from, uh, Spider-Man from the 2020 sets, the torso is from Homecoming, the head is from the accessory pack, the arms are just red arms and then white hands and then if you wanted to you could put this on his head to act funny but that's him next we have mj and i use the torso arms hands and legs from joy spires and the head and hair from claire deering next we have mj from the parade and i use the legs from Iron Man from the Infinity War sets. The torso flipped around from the girl on the train from Harry Potter. The the arm and hands from Beach Batman. And I used the head and hair from Ginny Weasley from Harry Potter. Next we have Harry Osborn and I use the torso and arms from Lloyd. But you'll have to switch out those hands for some tan hands. And I use dark blue legs. And I use the head from Bruce Banner. And the he hair from one of, I think it's from, it's from Peter Parker from the Venice set. Next we have Aunt May. And I use the torso, arms, and hands from Harry Potter from the Prisoner of Azkaban uh, Hogwarts train set. The hair from floating, like, Nicholas, I think his name is, where he could, like, take his head off and stuff, I don't know. But the head is from, it's from Aunt May from Spider-Man sets, and just, um, just tan legs, dark tan legs. Next, we have Uncle Ben, and I use the torso, arms, and hands from Jurassic World from Owen Grady. The head from Han Solo, and the hair is just like dark tan hair, and then khaki legs with the printing on them for pockets from Killmonger. Next, we have Macho Man Randy Savage, and I use the uh, legs and hips from Han Solo from the Solo Star Wars story sets. The hair from Tashu Leech. The face from Star Wars Series Black. 
and the, I use the torso from Series Black as well, and tan arms from Beach Batman, and the hands are just regular black hands. Next we have J. Jonah Jameson, and I use the torso from one of the Harry Potter characters, dark tan legs. The arms are just white arms with tan hands, and I use the head from J. Jonah Jameson from the older, like Spider-Man sets, and I use the head from Doctor Strange. Next, we have Robbie Robertson, and I use dark gray legs, the torso and arms from Ross, hands and head from uh, Falcon, I think it is, and the hair from uh, Luke Skywalker, like the old Luke Skywalker, and that's how you build him. Next, we have the Green Goblin, and I use the torso, arms, hands, and legs from the Scorpion Lego minifigure, and the head from the Green Ninja, with the, I mean, the head underneath is just a glass head, I guess you could call it, and then the, like, face mask is from Lloyd, or the Green Ninja. Next, we have Norman Osborn, and I use the head from Lex Luthor, the hair from Han Solo, the torso and hands and legs from the old J. Jonah Jameson and just black arms. Next, we have the wrestling announcer, and this starts my um, characters that weren't in the thumbnail and uh, characters for loyal people to see if they watch the whole video. And I use the head from Agent Coulson, the hair from the dog trainer, the torso and arms from C-3PO, tan hands, and black legs. Next, we have Uncle Ben's killer, and I use the head, torso, arms, hands, gun, and legs from Owen Grady from Jurassic World. Or the head is from Star Wars too. And the head, I mean the hair piece, I guess you could call it, is um Alfred Pennyworth. Next we have Flash Thompson, and I use the head from Anakin Skywalker. The torso, arms, and hands flipped around from Princess Leia. Uh, dark blue legs, and the hair from Sandman. Next, we have the butler, Gerard Butler, I think his name is. And I use the torso and legs from, and the arms and hands are just regular black arms and regular tan hands. And the face is from old, um, forget his name. I think it's old Obi-Wan. No, um... Type in the comments below whose head this is from, please. And I use the hair from Doctor Who. And that was my showcase, Spider-Man number one from 2002. Hope to see you next time for Spider-Man 2. And a Lego set review coming today. Soon today. And... Hope to see you all for the next showcases. Like and subscribe. Peace.